everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Potomac Beads Best Bead Box XL. <laughs> and as you guys know from previous, if you've watched my other unboxings, this is where I get my seed beading fix. I love their beads. I'm not a big seed beater, but I love their boxes because this box already comes with two paper patterns and beads that you can use with the patterns. And then you get an additional bonus pattern to add to your idea list. Also, you get some extra beads that you can add to your stash. And this one is December's box. I am apparently late with all my boxes due to the holidays. <laughs> so I'm excited to see what's inside. So let's go and check out the Best Bead Box XL. So it looks like this month is called, well, the month of December. <laughs> it's called the Hidden Treasure. So uh, find all your jewels in this month's hidden treasure box. Explore all the rich tones, bling, and bright metals in your wealth of supplies. Uh, follow the instructions to learn raw. Ooh, that is a bright angle weave. That is pretty cool. And uh, that's why I like, like I said, that's why I like this. If you want to, you know, get your feet wet with uh, beading, with seed beading, then you definitely want to subscribe to their to the, either this bed beast, best bead box, oh my gosh, it's like a tongue twister, which is $40, or you can just do the best bead box, the regular one, and that one is $26. I will leave a link in my description box with all the details as well. And uh, let me finish reading this and discover all the possibilities in the, of this versatile stitch. So, and then it has here your beading happiness li list. <laughs> it tells you what beads you have for the two patterns and then the extra, uh, the bonus pattern, and then a list of all your uh, beads for your stash. So it looks like we're going, we have a pattern for the anytime necklace. This is, oh, this is really pretty. Anytime necklace. And then again, it comes with all the, instructions here and if you get caught or stuck not caught if you get stuck then you can also watch the video that i've already used that and it is super helpful that you they they have the video as a backup because sometimes you know you don't understand exactly what they're trying to describe in writing but if you at least i'm a visual person i don't know about you guys but i am super visual and i need to see to figure it out so you have that so that's one anytime necklace Woo! look at this one and then you have the saint george pendant so that is really pretty and again you get the instructions in here what i like is that you learn all these new techniques or weavings that if someday you want to venture out and just do your own you know create your own designs now you have different patterns different weavings to kind of base it off of so inspiration and then we have our uh, bonus pattern which is the winter chimes christmas decoration so it looks like they're little bells how cute is that so i've got some super duels i might try for next year to make some uh, ornaments and then you get a little list all i want for the holidays is oh so you can make a little a little list of what you want that's too late for that but <laughs> that's okay <laughs> maybe i'll make it for next year um so now they have the little bags of everything the way you know it comes with all the 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 beads you need for each kit or for each pattern i'm sorry so this it looks like is for the saint george pendant so all these little beads here and i'll put that together i like to put those together so that later when i grab it i have everything all everything in one and i think this is yeah this has to be or maybe not yeah because this is the stash so this is the other uh, pattern beads, it looks like. Probably the, the colors might vary a little bit, I'm thinking. Yeah, I see the little these little beads in here, bicones. All right, so, and then I'm saving each, each pattern because then I'm gonna make like a little booklet. That way if I want to make a certain item, then I have it already to look through. 
All right, or, or in a different color. All right, so let's go and look at our individual beads for the stash. All right, so look at these pretty ones. Oops, move those scissors out of the way. Look at how cute are these. These are really pretty. Um, they are, oh, I got tape stuck to my nail. They are check faceted round beads in white teal. So these are really pretty. I'm dropping them here. Very cool. Then we have these little cuties here. And they are also check drop beads. Check drop beads and they are white mint luster. They are four by six spell beaters. Also super cute. Little drops. I love the color on these. Okay, they're really pretty. That color is so I love this is the green that I like. <laughs> if you be, you what heard me in my other video I said I didn't like green, but only mint green. This is the green that I like. Or I think I put it in a comment. <laughs> And there's these beautiful antique looking coins. They're spider bead in jet red luster. These do not look red, but I'm assuming they're red underneath. Yeah, I guess that you can see a little bit, but look at that. Yeah, I guess they have, they look like they're a spider, but they're not. Yeah, spider beads. That's pretty cool. They look like spiders. But this is a really pretty check bead. They're nice and heavy too. So they look like antique ones to me. <laughs> and it looks like we've got some yellow seed beads. Not going to open these or they will go all over the place. But we, they're just, they look like they are probably 11 O's. They don't look like eights. Yeah, and yellow silver lined. Oh, it looks like we've got some gemstones here. And this one is garnet chips, five by eight millimeter beads. They're nice and heavy too. That's, uh, this is the, the stone of the month of January, which is my birthday. I'm celebrating my birthday soon here this week, depending on when you see this video. And this is, I'm gonna have to make myself something. How about that? So cute. These are so pretty too. I love garnet. Well, obviously, because they're my month stone. <laughs> oh, these are pretty. These crystals. They are Potomac crystal step rectangles in Montana. Montan. I don't know if it was cut off from Montana blue. But these really pretty and I, th I think I know what I'm going to use these for. You can bezel them with seed beads if you want, but lately I've been learning how to do this Peruvian crochet and the Peruvian cro crochet is basically you use crochet with wire, like 30 gauge, very thin wire, and you can make little designs around it. It looks really cool. And I've been taking a few lessons on that. So if you're interested in learning, let me know and I'll make a video on that too. So yeah, these are really pretty. I'm gonna use that, use these for that. Oh, look at these are cute. Little more flowers. I think I've been seeing in boxes and subscription boxes lately a lot of flowers. Everybody's, everybody's I think uh, excited for spring. I hate short days though, so I'm excited too. This is the flower cup mix in white, garnet and crystal swirl. Look at garnet and crystal swirl, which is these here. I like the way they mix these because they go perfectly. Very cute. Little flowers that you can use with seed beads. Then, ooh, look at these. Look at these, you guys. Aren't they beautiful? They are Potomac Crystal Chatons in Siam. They're 5.4 millimeter. Is it Chaton? 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 I'm gonna have to Google that one. But look at how beautiful these crystals are. They've got like that 
brass on one side. And they're beautiful. They're so clear. The crystal is really pretty. I'm glad that Potomac started making their own crystals. They have a really nice sparkle to them. I hope the camera is picking out, picking up how sparkly they are. Look at these gorgeous Rivoli's. Potomac Crystal Rivoli and Siam as well, 18 millimeter. And we get two. These are also gorgeous. Wow, and you've got the, the back. They're not flat backs, but they are stunning. Also for my Peruvian crocheting. I think they'll look really pretty as a pendant or a pair of earrings that you can, you know, that you can use to make, to bead them, bead around them as well. So, very cool. I really like these. I love Rivoli's though. Ooh, look at these. That is pretty. These ovals. We got some really pretty ones in these guys. Potomac Crystal Ovals in White Opal. These are 13 by 18. I'm gonna have to go crystal shopping. Buy some more of these. In other colors too. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Love the way that you can see the cuts in there. See, that's the back. You've got like a brass gold back which gives it a really pretty color with the opal. Really beautiful. Oh, all that must be for the, for the chatons we got. This is a bracelet with 5.4 millimeters. This is S24, S24 chaton setting. Let's see, yeah, SS24. So you can put the, you could just uh, buy the this to make your own chaton bracelet, your sparkly bracelet. So all you do is, there's a special little tool. Um, I've done it with my pliers. So what you do is that you take these little chatons right here. You put them in here. See? See how beautiful that looks? They have the ready-made bracelets. And then you just take these prongs. Like I said, there's a special tool to bring down these prongs. So it's up to you if you wanna buy the tool or take the risk like I did. But look at how gorgeous that looks. Then it'll be a very fancy, once all of them are in, I'm gonna do that. And once all of, them are, them, all of the stones are in, then I can wear it because it's already even got the clasp. I'm gonna have to go online and get some more of these bracelets. That is so cool. See, it has the extender too already on it. I love it. Very nice. And then it looks like here we have, these are Mayuki seed beads in forest green lined. So these are eights. These are eight O's. So they're crystal with the lining. It, the liner is the color, the lining inside. They're lined with the green. Yeah, size eight O's. Yeah, you can tell right away how these are a little bit larger. So we've got the forest green. Then we have these beauties here. These are uh, check faceted round beads, crystal lined. How cool is that? They're lined with gold or brass. Looks like brass to me, but, oh, this one broke. Oh no, it's cracked in half. Oh well, that's fine. Yeah, but you, you can actually see in the center <laughs> the gold color now. It's like that, uh, that, YouTube, that YouTube show where they cut everything in half to see what's in there. I forget the name. I think it's a father-son situation. So, they open up, I think they cut in half. They open up to see what's inside different different things that go all over. I thought, but these are pretty. I know I'm gonna be able to use these to make something. So very cool. 
Ooh, look at these fun little guys. And these are round trio, round trio beads and aluminum silver. Round trio. Oh, they've got three little holes. Oops. That is so cool. I've never seen that. They look like little aliens. <laughs> look at that. They've got three holes. See, that's what I mean by I like having this kind of box. I like these type, this type of box because you get a better idea of what's out there available to use for your beading projects. So that's why I like this box specifically because they send you such a variety of different beads that I had no idea that there were beads with three little holes in them. So I... I'm going to have to look up and see what I can do with these. <laughs> they look like those little Toy Story monsters with the three eyes. <laughs> I have, I have a weird imagination. I know. <laughs> so this, you guys, is December's Best Bead Box XL from Potomac Beads. Like I said, it's a really fun box. I really enjoy getting it, especially because I get my seed beading fix. But also now, you know, I really like that they include, you know, these components. You get these beautiful, like here, these rivalies that you can either bezel or, I don't know, glue, even do um, soutache with it. Or you also have some gemstones. So you never know what you're going to get, but you get a little bit of everything and you discover beads that perhaps you've never used that you can now include or incorporate into your projects. So very fun. Again, all the details will be in the description down below if you want to subscribe. And they also have a pattern subscription. If you don't want to get the beads, you can just subscribe to get their patterns alone let me know what you guys think if you like it or if you subscribe what do you guys think if you want to see more videos like this i suggest you subscribe and hit that bell right next to it so you get notified every time i upload a new video either an unboxing or a tutorial and in the meantime please take care of yourself stay safe and i will see you in the next one bye